Good evening and welcome back to Astro Colony where I have been working on fixing a problem that I did last episode. If you look see here, our carbon factory, what is this thing here? Um, graphene, our graphene plant has changed dramatically because I didn't pay attention last time we were playing. Uh, the requirements for the advanced manufacturer to make uh, the graphene are much higher than what we actually had running. So basically, it requires all this stuff every 14 seconds, and the first protocol is these ones here. These take 14 seconds to make one, and it needs four. So we need four of those, so I have done that. But then the other one is that it needs two of these every 14 seconds, and this takes 22 seconds to make a one. So that means it needs like 3.8 of them. So we've gone four of them here and then. Yeah, this is this is this is the problem. The biggest problem with this is the actual carbon fiber isn't coming in fast enough, and that's because the belt isn't quick enough. So if I look here, um we are uh, I'm not sure. Why did you turn off that's weird. Um you should be waiting until this has got 32 in it, and it should never get 32 in it. It should always be running permanently. I don't know why there's gaps. In, I've noticed this before, actually. There's gaps in the carbon the carbon run, and I'm not sure why. There. Oh, we have got a second feed. I think that's the problem. So this, um, yeah, when this turns on. Didn't ever need to get gears again, but when this turns on, um... Maybe not. Okay, don't know, don't know. But there, there is um, there, there, basically the belt isn't fast enough. There is fast. The belt uh feeds in the uh carbon fiber here, the carbon, sorry, um, and it splits four ways, and it's not enough. It's not fast enough to keep these up here. Um, it gets to about five or six on each one, and then stops. About five on each one, and then stops. So we need a belt that's twice the speed of this, or we need a second belt coming in. The problem to a second belt coming in is that this has only got one input for the storage here. So the storage which splits evenly between the two. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. Um, I have actually discovered something about the splitters as well. Um, if you have one, one, and one, it will go left. It will try and go forward. It will stop for about a tenth of a second and then go right. And it, there is a delay, um, which was causing this to feel slightly. See, there you go. Look, there's another. Stop, and I don't know if that's, that's this stopping that or whether it's a gap in the in the belt. It shouldn't be this. This um, this is reading this box here, and if it gets below, if it's below thirty-two, it should turn it on. So it shouldn't ever turn it off because this should never get above thirty-two because it never backs up. So I don't know why it's doing that. I'm very confused. I, I'm. Where else are we using carbon? Ah, there you go. So there's a gap there, right? So oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that. That's down. That one's up there. Okay. So where where are we using carbon? Where's the gap coming from? Ah, here. What's this? What's this doing? This is making iron rods. Yes. Okay. So that's the problem. That's the problem. We, our belt just isn't fast enough. We need a faster belt. That's the problem. We need a faster belt. So we need to get gas going, which is okay because we have some graphene now, so we can actually do that because this is that. Um, I, I did think maybe we could run the second belt into it, but um, as I said, this is only got one input. Could replace it with a um a bigger storage i'd have to redesign some things but i could replace it with bigger storage and then have multiple inputs and outputs and have two lines come into it um, alternatively i'm sure i could bring the second one in have that come across as well but then it's complicated things are there trying to merge the belts so we need faster. We need faster. But that's that's what we're building this for. That's what we're building this for. So we have seventy-one. So that's okay. So how many uh, do we need for? We need. 
That's one per gas pipe. Ooh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's actually really expensive. That is really expensive. Oh. Oh dear. Um. Right. Uh. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. This requires mercury rods, and mercury rods requires gas to run. The problem is that the um to make mercury rods, we have to come down here and do it. Because if we look at the uh, the list, so we've got this. Our next one is titanium gas, which requires gas, and then we have cobalt rods and mercury rods. And there are our next things to go. So um yeah, so <laughs> that's more than seventy one along there. We're gonna have to. something else out here how do i let's use let's 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 try and at least temporarily um try and help this not sure what to do here um And down, I can plug into it sideways. Then, um, I could also come up and over. That's the option. We could come up and over with the second one. But it's where to plug it in is the problem. This has only got one input, and we are running at full pace for the input. Hmm. I think it needs to basically supply the um I'll just put it there and have it merge the belts together. It needs to supply this belt needs to be supplied hundred percent of the time. That's what it is. That's what it is. So how do we I think I'm just going to do this. I think we're just going to go down one and then that way. Uh, and um, I can't have this control two things at once, can I? Um, oh, I know what we do. I know what we do. Whoa, whoa, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. We'll do. Uh, no, because pushers force push, don't they? They don't... Oh, there's no way I can have this feed the bottom belt and carry on along itself because pushers force push. They, they stop things moving along the belt. So if I put a pusher here to have this go down to reach the bottom belt, um, it will break everything else. So, yeah. Um... the game doesn't work that way it doesn't work it doesn't let you pass um I'll tell you what i'll tell you what we'll do i'll tell you what we'll do we will replace this with a large um storage Oops. Let's replace this with a large storage uh, like this. Oh, okay, that has an output on that side. No, that's in the wrong place. There, but it shouldn't input because the belts are not going that way. They're going long, so it shouldn't re-input back into that. So that will still split evenly, which is what we want. Um, you will come down and feed into that one. have this one come down and feed into this one oop oop what 
that. Copy this to there and this to there. Okay. We'll have you read the tank. We'll have you read the tank. We'll have you read that one. We'll have you read. There we go. Okay. We've still only got one output. Um, which is probably going to be our next bottleneck because this is going to start filling. Yep, it's full. It's, it's full up. So we've still got one output, and I don't think even when it's running at hundred percent of the time, that's fast enough. So I think we need two outputs, which is awkward as hell. Yeah, we get to six, and then it stops. So how do I do two outputs instead and have two inputs? I can't. I can't do it. I don't have the space for it. Uh, this, this, this. This won't work. This will not work. What I'm trying to achieve here will not work. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Stop. 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 This, this will not work purely because of the space. I need more space. If I could bring these into the outside and plug them in, we could have like one plug in this side, one plug in that side, and then have two outputs on that side, and that would work. Um, I could output this side for that one and this side for that one and go up and over and things and that 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 would also kind of work but it's right I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that um we are going to get rid of this here okay. and what we'll do is we will bring this in above the old one We'll put in a storage container here like this, and we'll put in one here like this. Okay. You will go that way. And then those. Okay. And then you are going to come up one and go over the top, which is kind of breaking the rules, but kind of what we have to deal with here. Okay. get rid of this here because this is no longer needed Oop. okay and then we will grab you and put you there there so you are going to read that guy you are going to read the top one, which doesn't exist, so we can't do that. Okay. You are going to read that guy. Okay. Let's grab a... Oh, hello. What's happened here? What's this? What's this? This is aluminium. We have no aluminium left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Um... Right, so uh, you're going to read the bottom one. And you are going to read the top one. And they're both going to be changed to be um, 16 rather than 32. I think. It could be changed much lower than that, to be honest with you. I think, I think 8 would be the better one here, because now they've got much shorter read time. So there you go, Bob. So if you fill up with 8, so now you're only feeding 2. They go so you've you've blocked off because you're full and then you've backed up okay this will work better this will work better we are still munching basically all of our carbon though so um we'll see how that goes uh aluminium what's happened to our aluminium is it just dead is it just yeah yeah we just have no aluminium okay that makes sense because we're not getting any aluminium in that's purely reliant on the miners here which is what we wanted to upgrade and get going here, but I couldn't do that because I needed the graphene. Uh, you require 12 of them to do that, which is just such a pain. Um, yeah, so this this is this is probably the biggest and most complicated build. I haven't explained any of it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's probably the biggest and most complicated build I've done. Um, but I wanted to try and fix it and get it actually running, um, if that made sense. So, 
There you go. I think it looks like now this is going to be running all the time. So every 14 seconds we'll get one, which which is better than I think we were getting one like every it was like skipping it was taking twice as long so it was every 28 seconds so now it's better now it's better um i did toy with the idea of putting more of these guys in but then i realized it was the belt it was the actual the input was the problem uh you need to be longer than eight don't you yeah you need to you need to be like 16 or something because the belt's much longer so it takes a lot longer time to get here so yeah, you need to be 16. Oh, I haven't done these here. Um, so this, this is what I meant. See, let's see if we can see it happening. So this will come down here and it goes. Have I done that one already? No, I haven't. Already. Okay. Well, it goes. It, my observations that I can't now see was it goes left. It tries to go forward and stops for just a tiny bit and then goes right. And there's a slight delay in it. Doesn't matter in 99% of situations. But when I had the three, the one spitting here, it was slightly slowing down the feed and the actual box was starting to fill as soon as i switched it to zero for the forward which went left right left right it didn't it emptied the box completely so it was it, there was a speed up there so yeah okay so this is working fine here now so you'll you'll get to 16 and you'll shut down that one there so that's fine you get to eight and you shut down that one there you will feel you will feel everything will be beautiful we'll get more in awesome okay so i need to wait for the graphene to fill which is a little bit of a pain because it takes forever and ever and ever because it's so slow and we do need a lot of it as well and it's just going to use up all our carbon and uh yeah let's see how this works here so you have stopped because you're both running fine so yeah okay so what have i done here what have i done here okay whilst we're waiting for the carbon to fill oh actually before we do that i'll, I'll explain that at the end of the episode because um Ah, yeah. Um, I have got a recycling machine here and I've recycled everything from my inventory that I didn't think I needed anymore. So I've taken out all the, uh, the standard stuff. So I've got, I've got a few things here, which I'm still going to use. Floors and walls, we're going to use at some point. There's no point in breaking them down. They just become plates. We've got plenty of plates. Um, solar panels I'm keeping. A power line I'm keeping, but I've used all my power line up. Um, got a couple of conveyor unit things, transport pipes and stuff. So, yeah. And then everything else is going here. And as you can see, we have a lot of stuff. Of stuff it's um you know, there you go so we've got some stuff here we can throw back into the system and get going again which is awesome i am not sure if you recycle aluminium do you get the aluminium ore back i don't know if that's a thing but yeah so we've got some stuff here that we can use wherever so this is just basically a dump warehouse at the moment on this planet here i try i put it over here because I thought, well this power grid's doing nothing so might as well do that and it's just breaking down all the water cells right now so uh yeah um, and then basically the water source breaking down into iron bars so we're going to get uh, 700 iron bars in here which would be awesome so yeah, loads of things loads of things awesome we have cobalt we want to mine here we have uh, titanium we have copper we have all the um gas as well which i want to mine i need to We're gonna have to. I'm, 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 I need to wait to get some better resources. I need to. Um, I want to mine the gas, obviously, but I'm not sure if it works the same as water. I'm not sure if when a tank is full, it just carries on pumping the gas, which would waste the um, the gas that's in there. I don't know if that's a thing or not. So I'm holding off until we've got enough graphene to actually run like the pipes out of here. So the pipe goes in here and it comes out here, and then it can go underground, and then the pipe can run along. And these ones here which um we need a lot of pipe for we need a lot of pipe for so just for instance running from uh this one to this one is 56 um and that is 56 graphic because it's one pipe per per graphene so and we have hunt so we could do like between we well, currently we can connect three of those ports up and that's it we have no more graphene so i need to I need to let this go i need to let this go so i think i need to just yeah we'll we'll get to that next episode so what i'm gonna do i will explain this now and then we'll bring an episode to a close so if anyone's not bothered about how this all works um then thank you very much for watching but um for those that are it's 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 the same logic as everything else we're doing here but i've got some i've got a weird twist in it that i kind of broke so so this one here first of all so the carbon comes in obviously it goes into a uh 
storage container um, and get split evenly between these. Uh, the logic reads the storage, the reads the uh, constructor and turns on and off the blocker. And if a blocker, normally a logic block that splits things or pushes things, um, will always try and push left and right all the time. And if the left or right is blocked, it will um, prevent. So if left is blocked, it will prevent stuff going right. However, if you put a blocker there, it detects that the actual way isn't allowed to go and then will continue going on. So the blockers will allow one of these to fill and not the other one. At the same. So they should fit evenly anyway, but it just does that there. So. And that's exactly the same here as well. Doing the same thing here. So this that's straightforward. Uh, we have a system here where we um, obviously read whether there's four carbon fiber in here. Um, bear in mind that there is always four carbon fiber in the recipe. Um, and then if you get more than four carbon fiber, um, that's when it turns the machines off. So it takes four carbon fiber and then it buffers up the rest, turns them off as when needed. This is the other one as well. This is the uh, the interesting one. So, uh, oh yes, yes. So this is the complicated one. So um, I've brought the resources in on the left hand side because it's basically split in two. I couldn't get them all down the right hand side in one go. Um, it would have gone up, come along, come down again. It would have been weird. So. So let's start with this one here, the iron ore. The iron ore comes in, smelts into iron bars. The iron bars smelts into um, iron plates. The iron plates get stored into a storage container here, which is what this is reading here to shut down because the iron plates go along to here and they split left and right between these two advanced manufacturers in the center. The advanced manufacturers go into another set of storage, which then splits evenly between these two here. And that's creating wire. The advanced manufacturers are creating wire and they will fill up these wires here and then turn off and when, whenever they need it. So um, if this has got uh, less than two in it, then it goes and turns things off and and it just, it's it's a filler. And I had to split it this sort of way because it's one of these can support 3.1 of them. So I could have run three on one and then another one for another one. So it made sense to split it evenly. It makes more sense. So. And we've got the standard turn the blocker off. Same as over there. Turn the blocker off if we've got stuff inside us. Just just so that then this backs up and then when this backs up, it turns off that. So so basically it, it's a chain. It's from from that one, we'll turn off these if it's got too much, and then these will turn off this if we've got too much, and this turns off that, and that turns off that, and so on and so forth. So it's all it all sort of backs up. Uh, this is the one where I was noticing that there was a uh um problem with the uh the left right thing going on here so this is what this is the first one i set to zero so i noticed it was going left waiting a moment then going right left waiting a moment, and that was backing this up here it was happening over there for the carbon as well i also have an issue here that i don't know how to resolve and it's probably slowing down the process but it seems okay for the moment so yeah but the next one is we have uh the um titanium wall coming in titanium comes into here and uh, splits evenly left and right, except it doesn't. Um, it's supposed to split evenly left and right, but there's a problem. There's a problem. So, so it should split this way, come to here, and then split left and right between these two. And um, uh, this then turns it into iron rods, titanium rods, and then titanium rods go into the constructor. The, uh, Not a problem. However, the center ones I messed up. I built all this infrastructure in here and all these bits pieces first then realized i needed to get access to the intoid ports of these two which obviously caused problems because we can't do this like this so yeah so what is happening here is that i think this one uh these turn off and um uh, these output down i think the problem that's happening here is that because this is the further one back this continues running when that one turns on, but it's feeding this one, which means this is turned off more than that one's turned off. So what happens is that this turns itself off, blocks this here, which um, in turn fills up these, this uh, row here, which then means that side gets starved. So then this one doesn't get the resources. So then this one has to kick in to compensate for it. And it's a slight delay. It doesn't appear to be causing problems, though. I th think this is running all the time. I may change up the resources on this slightly, the the, um, the settings, so it, uh, it 
runs for just a little bit longer um, because it's not it, it, these don't make the stuff in time for this so I think these need to be set slightly higher what I might do is change just this one this one here to um, be on for a little bit longer because then that would empty this side a bit faster or it might actually if I did this one it would empty a bit faster because if I did this one that would turn on but because it's splitting it still splits evenly so if this one's running and that one's not running these still get resources evenly so you see this gets like up to two and this it looks about the same to be honest with you but um yeah I found that sometimes they are these have more in them or one of these has more in them than all the rest of them so if we turned on that one that would actually use more resources this side so if I change this to say four so we're going to have one running a lot longer than the rest the resources come out will go in you're going to keep feeding which will drain this side down more because you're going to be used more which might even things out and then speed these ones up as well I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the problem the problem is that it's the delay of these not getting the resources in time it means these turn on but don't run quick enough because they don't have enough resources in them to feed this in time so so let's see whether that works or not let's see let's see so you're all running you're all running you're all doing your thing so bump one two let's turn three of them off but not turn that one off that one's still running okay it goes down again because it now processes the next block one so one two these are turned off but again that one that hasn't i move this i can't move this over there a little bit so i can just see this one i think this one's going to be permanently running which means this will be running more than the these ones we should over time it's only going to be a slight change in uh things because they're normally only turned off for about five or six seconds anyway but it just means if that's permanently running and that's going to mean that we will get a little bit more usage of the titanium on this side so yeah um i don't believe we're struggling for the resources in this at all so it's not like it's um uh, i don't think i've ever seen these advanced motors actually starve of uh aluminium uh, titanium sorry but they usually don't have as much in them or they they um i think that one was actually that one was probably i was disabled so a little bit of balancing going on here because i messed up what i should have done was i should have split those so that um we could get two belts coming down the center there and that would have fixed the whole problem here but i didn't i, I messed up i messed up and um picking things up and moving things i also think i found the issue with logic not being connected when you make blueprints if one of your logic blocks does not have a, a um, connection, it breaks all of them. So if you copy all the logic and we copy, say, this one here, because this doesn't exist in the blueprint, it breaks all the connections. Whereas if you copy them and every last one of them has their logic connections and there's no, like, you, you haven't got this one involved, which comes out to here, if they all have their logic connections, then they will all keep them. If one is missing, they will all be disabled, which is bizarre, but yeah. So if you're ever copying things... Um, just disconnect the um the stuff before you make the blueprint before you make the blueprint not after so yeah okay so you're turning it off because you've got enough titanium inside you that would be fine uh yeah i think this will run faster now so okay okay so don't let the game run and we're going to try and fill up on graphene i need like even more than a thousand um yeah i need i need way more than even a thousand um because this is this is like four or five hundred long here so that's already half of them gone so um we'll let it go to a thousand and then we'll see what happens but anyway thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>